Hey. Jack. How are you, sir? How are you? Okay. Wonderful to see you. How have you been feeling since we did the procedure? Very good, very good. I like a new man. A new man at 95. Not bad. Jack Patel realized that something was wrong when he became easily short of breath. When I started to walk upstairs, I couldn't make it all the way up. I had to hold on to the railing to get up one flight up. Jack, who survived six concentration camps during the Holocaust, he had a zest for life that was being drained by a weak heart. He had cut back on his woodwork and his sculpturing, things that were his passion. That's when he met Dr. Bruce Rutkin, the director of structural heart disease at North Shore University Hospital. When did you pick up that you're dealing with somebody really different, special, and unique? I would say the, the moment we walk into the exam room, we didn't even have to speak, and you can see for yourself that Jack obviously presents himself uh, different than your typical 94-year-old uh, patient. 95. He, 95. 95. Watch 95. yourself. Thank 95. you. Well, what is he doing over here? Yeah. What is he? Did you get the right doctor? Is this oh, <laughs> my God. It's genius. Genius. Uh, Gee, they don't make them like this They anymore. don't make him like this. Jack had an aortic valve that needed to be replaced to get blood flowing to all his organs, and Dr. Rutkin presented a less invasive procedure. On Jack, we did a what's called a transcatheter aortic valve replacement, and the acronym for that is capital T-A-V-R. Before this technology, the only way to treat a severely narrow aortic valve was open heart surgery. With TAVR, that was all changed. The replacement valve can be threaded through the artery down into the heart, and the new valve is placed right into the disease valve to open a pathway. Matt. Jack's son says the surgery was beyond his expectations. The color of his face, his demeanor, his mind, he was getting more blood to his brain. He was able to walk, he wasn't getting exhausted, he was able to go up the steps. It's like they gave him a gift of life again. It was incredible. Jack, who moved to this country in his 20s, says he wants to live to travel and continue to give back in any way to this country, which has given this 95-year-old so much. I respect this country tremendously. Well, you've given a lot to this country, Jack. Uh, Mr. G, I wish I could give more. I wish I could do more. You, you can live to 150. I don't know. All right, 140. 140. Will you take 130, Jack? One, I'll take 145. All right, we'll settle at that. Absolutely.